Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Layla. Joining us, Robert J. Sawyer, a winner of all of the world's top awards for best science fiction novel. Let's just start with perhaps um, your plans in 2030, I read somewhere, to go back and start rereading your work. Yeah, when I turned 70, I think it'd be an interesting thing as a way not just of enjoying the books, but reminding myself of who I was when I was 30 years old when I wrote the one in 1990. Do you want to enlighten us a bit about the difference between fantasy and science fiction writing? Science fiction is about things that might realistically happen. Fantasy is about things that never could happen. There's always a way to get from our here and now to the venue of a science fiction story. Usually it's just by time passing into the future and reasonable changes in science and society. How much risk taking is involved in being a futurist? Because your predictions might reflect either your accuracy or inaccuracy? Well, absolutely. A science fiction writer is in part a futurist, somebody who's trying to predict what's coming down the pike. So you are gutsy. You put your name to a prediction. You say, here's what I think it's going to be like in this particular year. Sometimes you get it right. Sometimes you get it wrong. But sometimes when you get it wrong, it actually is a good thing because you've said, hey, if we continue down this road, it's going to be bad and we need to not go to this future. So sometimes it's a warning and we're very happy when the thing we predicted, because we predicted it, doesn't come to pass. And how has your interest in quantum physics and quantum computing and human consciousness uh, been important to your success? In late 70s, early 80s, we never once mentioned in psychology class the word consciousness. And so it was just a black box. Things happen in your head and we couldn't understand what they were. In the decades since, we've started to really learn what it is that causes us to be self-aware. And a lot of interesting speculative science suggests that there's a quantum mechanical part to human consciousness, which is a really mind-blowing idea. And I'm fascinated by that. So I've used it in a number of novels a book about copying human consciousness the way we might rip a song off of a CD and transferring it into some artificial body. And I think we're going to be able to do that in the next couple of decades. You've won a lot of very prestigious awards. I have. <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious as to what the challenges remain. Perhaps within the publishing realm of science fiction? Sure. The, I mean, I have won a lot of awards. I've won 43 awards for my work, internationally, nationally. The biggest awards in my field, which is wonderful, but they're in my field. The biggest challenge for somebody who writes science fiction is to try and convince that 98% of the population that doesn't read science fiction, that there's something of value in science fiction. Between now and your 70th birthday, are you planning on uh, writing more books? I've been doing a novel a year. I'll slow down a bit as I get older, but I still would like to see the overall Robert J. Sawyer oeuvre be 30 odd novels by the time I'm done.